Hi, welcome to this video in which I will replace uh, the oil and oil filter on my Twingo RS second generation, so which has 1.6 uh, uh, liter engine uh, with 133, 133 horsepower. Uh, the engine is, I think, uh, K4M and it takes 5 liters of oil uh, with, uh, when replacing also the oil filter or 4.9 without the oil filter. This is according to Dialogis. I just bought this car, um, uh, so uh, I will just replace. I think that it has done from the last oil service, it has done, uh, let me check, 13,000 kilometers. And the service interval is 20,000, but I will just replace it so, so that I know that uh, everything is uh, okay. So what, uh, which oil I, I, I chosen? So uh, the oil is uh, Elf uh, Evolution SXR uh, 900. So this is uh, four, uh, four uh, V, uh, five V 40. And this is the oil that uh, meets the standard that are required for this engine, which is RN. 7, uh, 710. So this is, I think, the factory oil. Uh, now the Renault has marketing contract with Castrol, so it uh, pushes the Castrol oil, but I, I'm i quite old now, so I just connect Renault with Elf oil and I just bought this oil. So it's also very cheap. So what you need also, it's the uh, oil filter and the copper washer for the drain plug that you need to replace. And this is basically it. Also, uh, eight millimeter square uh, uh, wrench uh, you uh, you need this to remove the drain plug i have the car now prepared for the uh, oil change uh, as i said uh, the car was a little bit warmed up so the door will be warm and it will go out easier and here is the oil that i bought as i said elf uh, 900 sxr evolution 5v40 and as you can see here, it is the standard uh, Renault 0710. Uh, so as, as I said, uh, the, the, it uh, would, uh, when you are replacing the oil with the filter, it needs five liters of oil. So this should be enough, but I always buy one to have a spare if it needs to add up or something, I don't know. The car is uh, new to me, so we'll see. So this is the filter. The filter is uh, Male OC467. The part number, I will put all the part numbers and the all info in the video description. And as you can see, I already did here some modif uh, modification, not a modification, but I marked the position. Why? You will see when I will be replacing the filter. And as almost all now, it's made in China. So, but I th uh, male parts are quality, so it should not be a problem. Uh, so a little bit problematic is only the uh, uh, location of the oil filter. As you can see, uh, sorry, let me just do it like this. So as you can see, it's, it's uh, so here is the car and the location of oil filter is down here. So it will be a little bit easier, to, uh, uh, harder to access, but uh, from here, from this point, it should not be a problem. And it is hand tightened basically, so it should not be a problem. And now uh, I will first, uh, I will first uh, raise the car in the front and then I will go with the replacing the oil. Now that the car is raised, as you can see, it's uh, fixed. I've checked it, so it's really not, uh, fixed so that it will not fall down, as you can see. Now, I, uh, first we need to remove the under tray, so paper, uh, plastic under tray. As you can see, it's here, so this needs to be removed. I think that there are nine bolts, uh, one, two, 
three, and then on each side one and two and three. On each side uh, at the, on each side another three. So let me. Uh, so this is the ten. The bolt is ten, and uh, let me just remove it now. Okay, and now let me just take it out. And this is it. It goes nicely out and out. Now that the under tray is plastic, under tray is removed, we need to uh, drain the oil. This is done here from this drain plug. And uh, you need a special eight millimeter uh, uh, quadrat uh, uh, wrench, but I, I've already ordered it, but I don't, haven't received it, so I will be just using this homemade wrench. So, need to like this, just unscrew it, and there should be, a, I already see that instead of copper washer is iron washer, which is already not okay, because it should be a copper washer here. So this is why I like to change, and I know that everything is okay. So now I will just take the oil out. I have here the can to catch the oil, and I will just leave it to uh, to drain out. So it's here, and that's it. As you can see, it's quite black. We'll see how it will look inside the can. Yeah, it's still a little bit golden reflection here on my hand. So now I just leave it to drain out. And now that the oil is uh, drained, uh, that the oil plug, uh, drain plug was uh, removed and the oil is drained, now the time is to uh, replace the oil filter. Now the location for the oil filter is really bad. So as you can see, it's down here. So this, if I go with my hand from here, I can access it. And the oil filter is down here. It should be hand tightened, so this should not be a problem. Uh, but let me now just set the let me set the uh, camera and I hope that it will be visible what I will do. 
Anyway, now I have the camera set up and as you can see, I can access the oil filter with my hand and I will try to unscrew it. It's okay, it's already uh, unscrewed. So uh, before I will uh, take it out, I will just put a lot of old clothes uh, here below. I also moved the catch, oil catch uh, can uh, in uh, below this so that any oil that will go out and it will go out, it will be uh, cat... Uh, Caught here. Shapit minut rabem. Fucking. Stone mosharet. So the camera is set, and as you can see, I will try to unscrew the oil filter, and it's already unscrewed. It's already freed. So I moved, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you see, I moved the oil catch can below the oil filter because when I will take it out, it will go, uh, some oil will go out. And I will also put some old clothes below the oil filter so that they would catch as much oil as possible, that it will not go down the engine. So like this. And now I will just take out the oil filter. So I will unscrew it and then immediately when it is unscrewed, I will just take it, turn it around. So, okay, like this. Okay, so here is the oil filter and now I will take it out here and put a new oil filter in. Now, before installation of the oil filter, I will put some of the oil, oil on the rubber seal of on the new filter so that it will be lit. and I will also clean this surrounding here where the oil filter goes in so that's it okay just clean it a little bit so that no debris or anything will go in okay, like this and like this okay so this is it now and now I will put uh, install the new oil filter. I will show you something. So as you can see here, so let me just take it here. So as you can see, the rubber seal on the new oil filter is a uh, little, I put some oil on it. And as you can see here, I have marked it with a black, uh, of, um, with a black marker so that I will know uh, how much to turn it after it made the contact. So, according to the Alogis, you just put the oil filter on and screw it on. Let me just like this, okay. And when it makes contact, you need to make, okay, now it made contact and now you need to make, make a three-quarter turn. I think it's a three-quarter turn uh, until uh, uh, from the contact. So, let me just like this. Okay, more, more, okay. Okay, like this, so this is now here, it was here, so a little bit more. But you need to hand tighten it, not like this. Okay, I think it is okay. So the oil filter is replaced, and now let me just take all this out, and as I can see, uh, not a lot of oil when I went out, so this is perfect. So it's not everything oily. That's it. Let me just clean a little bit here, and new oil filter is in. Perfect. So like this, you need to hand tighten it and not more. The oil has drained, and as you can see, I have replaced the old washer with a new washer with a, a copper washer. That should be here. So let me now just put this in. Uh, okay, like this. That's it. I will move this oil can. Let me take the key. I will clean this a little bit like this and so, so if I would have the wrench, uh, I think that it is 20 newton meters, it needs to be tightened to 20 newton meters. So I will just tighten by hand. Okay. And that should be it. 
anyway if you have the wrench the correct one 20 newton meters needs to be set so to put back the plastic under tray it's quite easy you just need to be careful careful here in front that you put it under this okay let me just set this like this just to go a little bit there and here it has to go inside in the middle of this plastic here just to take this okay so here needs to go like this okay inside and this one also inside that's it that's it okay here is okay so now we'll just use one nut to fix it and this is this one here and that's it and now also on this side so that the, that it holds up let me just find the hole okay this should be it yeah, okay, it's fixed now. Oh, no. Okay, again. That's it. So here the holes are okay. Here is okay, here is okay. And now just all the nuts need to be screwed on so that it holds firmly. This is this one, and here, that's it, one is here, three are in the front, three on the right, and three on the left, that's it, so this one goes here, that's it, and one is here, on this side, and three other are here. Oh, two, sorry, two. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that it is fixed and everything is inside as it should be. This is it. Okay, this one goes here. And now, let me just check this. Yeah. This is nice, this is nice. Okay, and now let me just screw them all the way. That's it, this one is done, that's it, first by hand and then I will just screw them to the end. This is it. So now nine screws and the wrench is ten. And this one here. This is it. And this one here. And now I will just screw them to the end. The wrench. That's it. Okay. Don't over tighten it to, to not to break the plastic, to damage the plastic, but this should be I think enough. And now this one. Here, this, okay, that's it, also this, this one is still a little bit manually this is it and the last one and also yeah not to forget this one and 
done. So this is everything is now done and I can lower the car. And now let me just lower the car back down. We will not need this anymore. So like this. Okay. And that's it. Okay. This is out, and now I will slowly lower the car down. That's it. Okay, and now also the other side. Everything that it remained now is that uh, we I uh, uh, put in the oil. So I'll just take out the dipstick and clean it like this and put it away for now. That's it. And uh, yeah, I could use a funnel, but I just put uh, uh, some old clothes around and I usually have a very, very steady hand so I don't uh, pour out of the here for the oil so I just do it like this and now I will open this that's it and as I said I will put in the ELF 9000 SXR oil and let me start now slowly yeah it's nice clean oil so I will put in first it should be for uh, five liters together with the oil filter replacement but I will for start I will just put uh, in uh, 4 liters wait a few minutes so that the oil goes down check that it is uh, about the minimum level on the dipstick and after that I will uh, add more oil um, to the top uh, to the maximum level and then I will do a small drive a short drive so that the oil goes also through the oil filter and everything and then recheck so that it is somewhere about half mark for the oil on the dipstick definitely about the half mark maybe um, towards the maximum mark so this is it it's nice clean fresh oil and now let me just check how much oil I already put in so it's two and a half liters so more I need to put in more to pour in more like this so at least one additional liter and then I will check on the dipstick where it is that's it let's see one and a half okay a little bit more and then it will be time to check because i really don't like to over uh, the, to put two large quantity in and then you need to take it out like this okay that should do it I think so let me just check oh yeah 
it's only one and a half liter now so I need to pour in more that's it this should be it okay so now uh, there is four liters of oil inside so I'll just close this but there is no debris that goes in like this and I will wait a few minutes uh, to verify if the oil is above the minimum mark so let me just find the this let me clean it and let's see if it will already show something yeah, that's it okay yeah it's already i can see that it's a, until the half mark so if you look closely, I don't know if it is visible, but it, it's until here. So this should be enough. And this means that it was four liters of oil I put in. So let me just close this and I will go and uh, make a short drive. After that, I will wait a few I will wait 10 minutes and recheck and add oil so that it will be about the half mark between, let's say, three quarter mark between the minimum and maximum signs. I took the car on a short drive and now I let it uh, sit for uh, CCI 10 minutes. So let us see where we are now with the. Okay, as it looks, it's a little at around third between minimum and maximum okay let me clean it and put it back on back in so just to verify okay like this and let me take this out and let's see now i don't know if you see just like this yeah it's around third so it is here okay let me just turn it around yeah so definitely I need to add more oil. So I think that half a liter should be okay. And it should be at the top, at the top. So let me just put this back here. So that it is around if I spill something, but usually I don't, but anyway, better safe than sorry. So like this, okay, yeah, like this and so now it is a little bit more than one liter here in the in this plastic bottle i will put half a liter of oil back in okay i spelt a little bit let me just check yeah, that should be four and a half liter. And I will just wait for a few minutes and recheck again. And after that, I will just dry one or two days and check again oil, just to see that it is somewhere around three quarter between the minimum and maximum mark. So I waited another, another 10 minutes and let me just check now again, what is the situation with the oil? And as you can see, it's basically at the half par point between the uh, minimum and maximum. So this is okay. I will just drive it a few days and uh, recheck uh, one day or two and recheck then. And then I will just add oil to the three quarter of the mark. And this is it. So let me just take this out and the fuel fill, uh, the oil and oil filter changes uh, finished of course we should not forget uh, for them on the most important thing when replacing the oil and this is to reset the service interval and uh, this is done by I'm clicking the board computer button so between all the data and here is uh, 13,257 kilometers to the 
oil change interval so the oil was replaced six six thousand seven hundred kilometers uh, uh, back but i have replaced it so now what i will do is just press the button this board computer button with which i change the uh, data and i'm pressing it pressing it it started blinking and the service interval is reset to 20,000 kilometers. And this was the process for replacing the oil and oil filter on uh, Renault Twingo 2 Mark II RS uh, with 1.6 petrol engine. It is quite simple, straightforward for forward process if you have tools and everything, so it should not be a problem. Uh, now I can uh, enjoy the, the car uh, without any uh, problems and uh, knowingly that it has the correct oil and uh, uh, for the next year. Um, I will check again with, uh, within uh, two days, two, three days, and probably add that uh, half a liter that state, because as, as uh, stated, it uh, should be five liters of oil. Now it is in the middle. I will put it to the three quarter of the mark. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped and uh, uh, drive safe and smile when you drive because driving is fun. Thank you, bye.